went to go put in two loads of laundry and somebody is using both of the machines. Now I just need to fill up my extra time. I'm gonna make breakfast right now. Also, I don't know what this vlog is yet, so please just bear with me. Long story short, I have so much stuff to do today. My boyfriend and I are leaving for my hometown tomorrow for my mom's birthday this weekend. And so I have a lot of cleaning and just like getting everything together to do. This past week has been so stressful for me for no reason. Well, actually it's been for a multitude of reasons, but I've just been stressed and I am so excited to just go home and not have anything to worry about while I'm gone. Although I'm inevitably gonna worry because I freak out every time that I leave my cats. I get so much anxiety leaving my cats. But one of my coworkers is gonna come feed them and watch them. And I got a pet camera out there, so I'm a little bit less stressed, but I still, I hate leaving them. I'm making a bagel. I've been trying to use all of the ingredients left in my apartment today, just so they don't go bad. Also look at this. How cute is this? I put tomatoes in here. My manager bought this for the retail at the store that I work at and I literally couldn't resist because look at it. On my to-do list today, we have laundry, clean the bathroom, clean the floors, pack my suitcase, finish all of my notes for my homework and the discussion post that I have due tomorrow. I just wanna get that done so I'm not stressing about it the day of and when I'm at home because I do my homework last minute every single week and it's always the worst experience. And so I'm gonna try and get everything done. And then I also work two to 7 p.m. today. So we have a lot to do. I have literally been putting off all of these things for the past like week. I've been telling myself every single day that I'm gonna get them done and then I don't. So now today is the last day that I'm gonna be at home. So I actually have to today. I just made myself a coffee. I haven't been drinking coffee a ton recently just because I feel like it's just always inconvenient. I don't know, I, I usually drink tea, but that's honestly only because I can drink it on an empty stomach. Coffee, if I drink it on an empty stomach, I'm done for, for the rest of the day. I found this at Target yesterday. It's a strawberry cream coffee, which honestly I thought that I was gonna hate, but I tried it with the French press yesterday. So good. It was limited edition, so figured I had to grab it. I just tried to make it in my espresso machine We'll go ahead and give this one a taste test. Honestly, I think I kind of preferred it hot. I don't know. It's pretty good. I don't know how to explain the flavor of it. It's kind of just like... I don't know. I have no idea how, like where I would even start trying to explain what this tastes like. It's good. If you see that at Target, it's good. And it was on sale. Also, my manager asked if I could come in at 11 today. And I, I usually will say yes anytime she asks me to come in like early, but I just, I have too much to do today. I wanted to quickly thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Aura. I've talked about them previously and I'm very excited to be working with them again. I don't know if you guys have ever done a Google search on yourselves, but I have, and I won't even lie to you, the results are a little bit terrifying. There is so much information about yourself that you can find online, whether it's your name, your email, health records, addresses, family members, all of that information can be found online. And that's because data brokers will sell all of this information. With Aura, Aura will actually show you which of these data brokers are selling that information and automatically submit opt-out requests for you so you can get all of that stuff taken off. AT&T actually just recently revealed that over 73 million of their customer records were released on the dark web, both existing and previous customers. And one of these people actually happened to be my dad. But because my dad uses Aura, he was notified that his information was on the dark web and he was able to submit an opt-out request through Aura, which is really nice. He was immediately notified so he could get that taken off. And then AT&T just recommended using strong passwords, monitoring account activity. And then they also suggested considering credit freezes or getting fraud alerts. And Aura can do all of this for me in just one app. It's very nice knowing that I don't have to worry about hackers or getting my information stolen. I really value my privacy and I also want to value your guys' privacy. So if you are interested, you can go to aura.com slash summersill for a two week free trial. It's important to make sure that your information isn't getting stolen or hacked. So thank you again to Aura for sponsoring today's video. The link will be in my description. Laundry is in and then first step we need to do now is sweep. I'm gonna pick everything up off of the floor and then just put it on the carpet and then we'll switch when I have to vacuum. we 
sweeping is done, clearly. I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum now. I'm gonna throw this away. It's so hairy and dusty. It's disgusting. I need to empty the vacuum. It's literally full of hair. It's gross. Also, both of my cats hate the vacuum, so I do feel really bad. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum the floors first, and then I'll move on to the carpet. And that's the plan. all of the sweeping and the vacuuming. I actually just realized I forgot to vacuum the bedroom. That's gonna be the least of my worries, honestly. I'm just gonna clean the living room as much as I can because this is where it gets like the dirtiest. But I'm gonna go switch my laundry. I need to go put my laundry in the dryer and then I'm gonna mop. Guys, I am not gonna lie to you. I do not feel like filming myself cleaning the bathroom, but I am gonna go wash the shower curtain and then I have like a, a shower mat that I'm also gonna wash. And then I need to mop still. I'm gonna go through these two things in the washing machine. I need to clean the bathroom as quick as possible and getting the right angles and stuff just doesn't sound appealing to me right now. So I'll just give you a before and after of the bathroom. I'm actually a little bit embarrassed to show you the before. Uh, just trust the fact that it's gonna be spotless afterwards, okay? I'm gonna get to cleaning this. I planned the washing machine strategically so that it's done in 30 minutes. So I have 30 minutes to clean the bathroom. I also still need to mop. I don't know why I am not mopping yet, but I just wanna clean the bathroom, kind of get that out of the way because this is my least favorite chore. I hate cleaning the bathroom. Clyde, can you clean the bathroom, perhaps? Whoa, 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 whoa. bathroom is clean. I'm gonna go grab the laundry. The laundry's done. So I'm gonna go grab that, and then we're gonna clean the floor. Oh, why does it look way dirtier on camera? Literally, there's already so much litter on the floor. How is there already this much? Floors are all clean. I did the bathroom, the kitchen, and then everything in the living room. I just need to fold these, and then I need to leave in like 20 minutes, and I also still need to eat. So I'm gonna do this as fast as I possibly can. I actually got most of my cleaning done, which I genuinely did not think I was gonna be able to do. I'm pretty impressed with myself. I'm gonna cross some things off of my to-do list. I did laundry, I cleaned the bathroom, I cleaned the floors, that's all I did. I am gonna make lunch really quickly. I just have some leftover pasta. I went to Cheesecake Factory last night and it was delicious. And then I'm gonna go to work until 7 p.m. and then, then I need to do my homework. Ugh. Honestly, I still have so much stuff to do, but I feel like the three things that I did this morning were like the biggest things that I wanted to do and like were the most time consuming. Aside from my homework, my homework's gonna take me hours. We're doing good. I'm gonna change into my work clothes really quickly. Ugh, oh, let me change. I'm all dressed for work. Honestly, I'm probably gonna have to do another load of laundry when I come back tonight just because this is my last clean work shirt and I'm assuming I'm gonna have to work the day after I get back and I'm not gonna wanna do laundry the night that we get back. So do you want... I got back from work like an hour and a half ago and I just did more laundry, I took a shower, I made dinner and then I just did the dishes and now I'm gonna work on my homework because I wanna get at least all of my notes done. I'm so stressed, but that's okay. Update. I am literally going insane trying to finish my homework. I don't know what is wrong with me. I literally, I don't want to do this. <laughs> I don't know. It's been so difficult for me to focus. I've been working on this for like two hours. I did finish my notes though. I have only gotten one discussion post done. It wasn't even a difficult discussion post. I feel like this should have taken me like 10 minutes and oh my gosh, I literally just can't focus. I can't do it. I really don't wanna have to do a ton of homework when I'm with my parents, but at this rate, at this rate, I'm not getting anything else done.
I'm in my hometown. I'm here for my mom's birthday this weekend. And that's all you need to know for now. I'm gonna shower and get ready. It's 8 a.m. right now. My mom is having an epic birthday party tonight. Medium low, shake it, spray it. Oil. We're making scrambled eggs. I need a spatula. This one? Bachelor. Egg. Pan. Trust the process. Looking pretty good. Egg time. Egg time. Egg time. I'm giving you shots to work with. Thank you. Egg time. The eggs are done by the way. My name's Chef. Are you gonna put cheese on the egg time? Yeah. I'm gonna give your eggs a taste test. No, I don't want eggs. I said, I'm going to give your eggs a taste test. Oh. They're yummy. I know. Bacon, bacon, bacon. <laughs> it's the day of Alicia's 50th. The preparations have begun. I'm on this fancy little cart to get the coolers and start getting stuff ready. So how many balloons do we have here? About 2,500. 2,500. How long does it take you to blow all these up? It took me about 12 hours. Definitely. Oh my goodness. Stocking the coolers, high noons, and water. Good combination. Here's the finished product. We're gonna party. Happy 50th, Alicia. It's gonna be the dessert table. Gosh. Look at oh it. my gosh. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. Look at it. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. <laughs> wow. That is, is so nice. It looks so good in here. <laughs> Every single person for being here it means a lot to me. I know it means a lot to Alicia. So yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Woo! Woo! I celebrated your twenty-first. Yeah. Oh. I told somebody today if I knew she was going like this at fifty, I would have signed up every day. Exercise. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to thank everybody for being here and a toast to you turning fifty. We haven't sang happy birthday yet. Happy birthday to you. I couldn't say it any better than Rico. The most important people in my life are in this room. And actually a couple of them left. But <laughs> I really, really appreciate it. You have no idea. Rico and I went back and forth for a long time. What do you want to do for your 50th? And I just said, I just want to be around my people. I know it's a holiday weekend, so that even makes it more special to me that you took the time out of a holiday weekend. I love you. Thank you guys. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,